Hey everybody, so I wanted to show you how to make a little fledgling EMR. What this is going to do is to help you not have to continually put in the same information over and over and over again. Anytime that you're going to have information that you repeat for a single patient, this should help to eliminate that. So the same thing can be applied in all of those situations. All right, so this is some basic patient information. Of course, every person you're going to see on here is completely made up. Um, so you'll see here, I already filled it out, so you don't have to just watch me type it all. Um, and now you'll see here on my list of patients, there was no Ryan, I remember his last name, Nelson. No Ryan Nelson in here, right? Okay. All right. Nothing up this sleeve, nothing up this sleeve, right? Okay. So come here, hit submit. Come back over here, and I'll refresh this page. And boom, there's Ryan Nelson at the bottom of the list. Isn't that crazy? All right, so then I can click on this, to submit a little note for Ryan. Um, so subjective. Uh, objective. Uh, assessment. I can see it. Band -aid. Right? Okay, so I mean, this is just an idea, basically. You know, this is just me throwing together uh, some little soap note type thing, but this could work for any type of documentation that you could be submitting, right? Okay, so I'll submit that. Then we'll come over here to patient information. So I didn't name these, but form response to is where I'm getting the information from the 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 like my, my daily notes or whatever, my soap note. And form response one was my patient information, right? So he is this is a form or this is note number nine. So over here I just type nine. Boom. That automatically updated the 15. I'll show you where that's happening. And then if I want to, so right here, you see this is pulling in information. This is pulling in patient information here and then the soap note information right there. And, you know, I didn't format this. I didn't spend any time on this. Again, it's just an example to give you an idea. But just as I've shown in other videos, I can say just do the selected cells only and you know, I could put on like a PNG of a signature or so it shows up on this page somewhere. Um, I don't have the timestamp for when this was submitted um, that I could do, but uh, you know, you, I can add any sort of formatting that I want to to this page to make it look, you know, like a really cool bona fide note, right? So let me now, you know, open up the curtain so you can see the what's what's going on here. It's still pretty much magic, even if even even when you see behind the curtain. Okay, so this code is what takes the information from the spreadsheet right here in form response one, and then puts it here in my select patient list. Right. So basically, it says, "Hey, where's the form?" I'm just gonna kind of brush over the part that you don't need to know that much about, but I'll go in depth for the part that you would actually handle on your own if you choose to do this on your own. All right? Okay. So this first part here basically says, "Where's the form that this is gonna go into?" And then where is the item that this is gonna go into? All right. So where is this item? Okay. So first, I come here to the editable version of my form. And I, this is the ID right here. So I just copy that, paste it here, and then I need this item ID. Okay, that's why I have this crazy stuff open over here. So the way you'll get there, you just right click on here, hit inspect, and then type data. Oh, sorry, it hit command F. Sorry. Yeah, hit Command F on Apple, Control F on Windows, then it opens up a little search bar. So data dash item dash ID, and there you go. There's the data item ID for this. Now this is just this is working this way just because I only have one thing right on this page. If there were multiple questions, then there'd be multiple item IDs. But you can see when I hover over it, it highlights it. So that's how you'll know you have the right one. Right? Okay. So copy that, and then you place that right here. Okay, then it's saying, hey, where's the spreadsheet at where I'm getting this information from, right? So this is the spreadsheet. Again, 
right here between these two, the big ugly hairy I value between the two forward slashes is where you get that. Paste that in there. And then you have the sheet name is form response one. So right there. Okay. So the rest of this, what it does is basically says, okay, what's the last row? And then it says grab information from these columns and then basically go through that information, generate the list, and then put that list into um, the name list, right? Put the patient names into the name list, which is that item ID right there, right? So that's the way the code works on here. I have notes here. Anything where you see these slash marks, those are um, just comments, right? So, and here there's code. I'll just delete this right now because we don't need it anymore. When you comment out the code, it doesn't run it as code anymore. Okay, so save that. Um, so then the other part of the magic that happens is here in this form. So how do we get this data from these two sheets feeding into this one form, all right? So this is a crazy formula I've never heard of before. But when I ran into some problems, basically when you submit the form, it doesn't add the information. It inserts a new row and shuts everything down. Well, and if you've ever done stuff with Excel, that kind of stuff is going to mess it up if I have a huge list of formulas here referring over to that other screen. So there was some there was things I could have done that would have worked, but it would have required like, you know, maybe monthly maintenance to come in and refix it. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it like a one-time thing. You set it up and it's good to go. So what this array formula does is basically say, do stuff here and do the same thing all the way down. All right? So these ones, like that array formula, like populates these things. So you can see Ryan Nelson, the one I submitted just recently, that still got put in there. The array formula took care of it for me. Right, And so then what this column does is say, hey, where is this guy in column B in column A? It says, oh, it's in row two. And these column A's, those row no numbers are exactly the same as here. So Robert Fredrickson is in two. Robert Curtis Ranji, right? Robert Curtis Ranji, boom. Okay, so right here, there's Robert again, a repeat, and it says, oh, he's in two, right? So over here, when I put in this information, I say, oh, bring in the patient from form response two, who's on row nine, okay? And then this basic, this one here says, okay, well, where is the patient from row nine in form response one, right? Because that's what this thing does, right? So it says, it comes to row nine. Basically it says, come grab this value because this is the value that found out where this was in form response one, right? Oh, and I need to add two. These numbers here are their birthdays, but the way that um, spreadsheets handle birthdays is to um, is like the number of days since the since January first, nineteen hundred. <laughs> so it's been thirty one thousand days, one hundred and sixty days, you know, whatever date that represents. But I don't care what it looks like in here. I just want it to be a unique value that we can make sure if I have two Robert Fredericksons that we have them separated out because of the birthdays, right? Okay, so um, so basically then this says, this is patient number 15, and this is like note number nine, right? So I have more, I have more uh, patients than I have appointments <laughs> so far. So note number nine or visit number nine is for patient number 15. So anytime I change this, so if I do that Robert Fredrickson one, right, that is here. So he's row five in here and it should be the same here, right? Robert Fredrickson row five. Okay, so I put five and it's going to grab two and it's going to bring that information in. So, um, so basically this formula says, go grab, oh, sorry, I need, I need to change this. See, this was, this was really complicated before and I simplified it down. Um, so this basically says, get form response one, row C, so that's where the last names are, and then call, or sorry, 
yeah, column C, row, whatever's in F2, so that's C2, and then put in a comma and a space right here, like that, Fredericks and Robert, and then go form response one, B2. So then that kind of repeats for these things. This one's longer because we have more parts. We have <laughs> the street, the city, the state, and the zip. So then you got the phone number, you've got email address, um, and then you have that the, the soap note stuff, which is just indirect get from form response two, C five, D five, right? So um, I, I have another video about the indirect formula if you want more information about how that one works. So, and I'll go ahead, when I upload this video, there will be, um, I'll have, I'll probably end up doing a link to like a GitHub or something like that that's gonna have this code included in it. Um, just because I don't think the YouTube comments are gonna necessarily work well for code. So, but I'll just put it like out on some public page or I'll find some way for you guys to be able to access this publicly. Um, and I'll put that in the comments on the video. Um, and then I'll put all of the, 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 the related formulas in that same thing, um, in that same, uh, sorry, in the notes as well. So if you want to have uh, me or my brother help you set something like this up, then um, go ahead and reach out to us and, and we can set up some sort of consultation. Um, um, and of course that will be a paid con consultation if you wanna do something like that with us. But I hope this was helpful You know, with this kind of thing. So we have the patient information, we've got the, We've got a daily note in here, but we, you could add another one for assessment, whatever you want to be able to put in, um, to be able to, to have anything that, re that refers back to that, to a single patient. Um, the billing or yeah, bills, whatever you want, you could put in here and then you could format this printable daily note or printable what anything in whatever way you want to, to make it look really solid and professional. So, and I'm just gonna mention too, the one thing that I kind of like about this over Form Publisher, um, personally, is that I feel like I, I have like full control over it. Um, and maybe you don't feel that way if this just like melted your brain. <laughs> but I really like that I can just come in here and if I want to, I could add another row over here to say additional notes or something like that. And then I could say, okay, over here in my daily note, I want an area for additional notes. And I can just have that pull in so that that way I can have, I, I can just customize this and I can do what I want with it. And also I can not, I can avoid having to like save copy after copy after copy. You know, I, I might print out a bill, send it to the patient. And then if they ever come back and say, hey, I want, can you, or let's just say send to the, nation, the patient a copy of their notes and then if they ever come back and say hey can you get me those notes and even if I have like 500 patients I can just come here and say okay give me um, search for so-and-so right and I can put their name in here find them in here figure out what row they're in come over here pop it in reprint it send it to them um, so just like then with form publisher you could do that sort of you I mean I mean you can do that you just have to probably print a copy and save it with a file name in a way that you'd be able to find it again so I don't know that's just form publisher is really handy and I don't want to like knock it or anything like that because it's a, it's a really good tool um, personally for me this is just one one thing I love about this is it it just doesn't automatically create everything and push it to a PDF but form publisher you can also just push it to a document instead you know so it's not like this is infinitely better um, I mean you know it's probably just a matter of preference but again if you have any questions you can reach out to Nate or I if you're looking for um, a discount code for G Suite also reach out to us on our Facebook page uh, G Suite for healthcare providers um, thanks for watching and yeah let us know if you need any help with it and if you like, set up that consultation.